This afternoon, the Federal Reserve raised a key interest rate by a quarter of a percentage point despite the recent turmoil in the banking sector. The central bank did signal that its streak of rate hikes to battle inflation is nearing an end. CBS's Caitlin Huey Burns has more from the White House. Announcing today's rate hike, the ninth in over a year, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said inflation remains too high. My colleagues and I are acutely aware that high inflation imposes significant hardship as it erodes purchasing power, especially for those least able to meet the higher costs of essentials like food, housing, and transportation. Those costs continue to soar, with consumers now paying 7% more for a gallon of milk, 20% more for bread, and 110% more for a carton of eggs than they were a year ago, all costing American households an average of $372 more a month. The rate hike aims to tame this kind of inflation, but it also means paying back your debt will be more expensive. CBS business analyst Jill Schlesinger. That could be an outstanding credit card balance. That could be an adjustable rate mortgage. It could be a business loan that is linked to short-term interest rates and maybe even a new car loan. I think the Fed really wanted to project that they are more focused on inflation than they are worried about the banking sector. On Capitol Hill, high inflation and the recent banking crisis have made the Fed and its chairman a target. The Federal Reserve will never get control of inflation without hurting a lot of people and putting a lot of people out of work unless Congress helps on the fiscal side. Powell also said today that the U.S. banking system is sound and resilient, but he also acknowledged the need to strengthen regulation and supervision of the banks. As for criticism of the Federal Reserve, the White House tells us President Biden is confident in Chairman Powell. Nora? Caitlin Huey-Burns at the White House. Thank you.